Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. So, we're still in the car for this review, but we are trying out a new location. With that being said, we're trying out a new food establishment, or I guess a new fast food establishment. Well, it's not really new, but for the Report of the Week's channel, it is. Um, we're trying out Long Dong Silvers today. Um, we're trying out Long John Silvers, should I say. And, believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever reviewed this establishment on Running on Empty Food Review. Because, let's face it, we don't have any Long John Silvers, uh, really, that are readily accessible up in Review Bra land. Um, there really aren't any. The only time in my life I've ever gone to a Long John Silvers before was in 2011 in Wyoming. And yes, this channel did exist back back in the day, but... Running an Empty did not exist, and it was not in my mind to review a Long John Silver's at that time. So, of course, we have one now, so we're going for it. After scouring the websites, the newspapers, the shortwave bands, and everything in between, to try to figure out what can I review from Long John Silver's that'll really, you know, really matter, um, we were at a blank. We, we couldn't figure anything out. We said there's nothing new. Pretty much the newest thing is from a year ago. Couldn't really do anything. So I figured, well, let's just, let's, let's do it. And, uh, let's just get something off the menu. So we got this. And what it is, is the chicken and fish sampler. Um, well, it's not a sampler, it's a combo, actually. A chicken and fish combo. Off their menu. Um, what it is, it's a piece of chicken, a piece of fish, a hush puppies, and some fried crap in a box, pretty much. So, opening up, here's a little pallet of fried stuff. Um, that's what it is. It's all, it's all fried, and uh, there it is. Piece of, piece of chicken on top, right here. Piece of fish on the bottom. Got your hush puppies here, and some fried stuff everywhere else. Um, so that's what we have. So, what we're going to be doing pretty much is just sampling this. Um, for, for the boys and girls who haven't really gone to Long John Silver's before, who really don't know what to expect. Um, I figure this will be a, a review for those people specifically. Um, so we'll really try a little bit of everything here and just let you know how it all is, okay? So first we're gonna try out the chicken, just gonna eat it, and uh, we'll get back to you after I take a few bites. It's hot, temperature-wise, that is. We'll take another bite or two. Dr. Pepper in it up. Pepe, or pepper, whatever it is, Pepsi, is a drink of choice, because they don't have Coke. So how's the chicken? Chicken itself was very hot, temperature-wise. Um, this is like a backwoods type of place, but, you know, they really did make the chicken quite fresh, and uh, I do commend them for that. The chicken itself was was tender. Um, it was actually tender and juicy, and if you believe it, it was on the saltier side. Um, I don't know if this was something that they cooked it in, or if this has to do with the fried over layer that's on, on top of the, the chicken or something, but it actually is a bit saltier. Um, the chicken itself does taste like chicken. Um, what you need to know about the chicken is it's very juicy, very tender, and it's salty. And if you do get it, it may very well be fresh and may very well be very hot. Their fries, well, their fries are standard. Um, Long, Long Don Silver's fries are 
standard of the establishment. I mean, nothing special, nothing glorious, you know. Nothing to really say is the best things I've ever had in my life. Um, not that type of tier. They're just standard. Um, you know, they're, they're just not too soggy, not too crispy, but not perfect. Next up is the chicken, or the, um, the fish. One, one other thing that I have to say is that the chicken and, chicken and fish do look very similar in appearance. So first we're going to just take a bite out of the uh, fish, and then we're going to put some tartar sauce on it and try that too. Well, one thing that I do have to say right now about the fish, without any sort of, you know, sauce, I guess you'd say. Well, I mean, it's it's okay, but a little a little bland, um, and a little chewier too, at times. Around the edges, it's chewy actually. And I don't know if that's just the way it was cooked, or if it has to deal with some of the, the I guess the fried fried nature of it. But. At points, it could be chewy in texture. Otherwise, though, the fish itself just, you know, at least in the center of this, it just splits. Um, literally just splits and almost melts in your mouth. has that type of texture to it. Um, but around the edges, it's, it actually is a bit chewier. Again, the fish, yeah, it tastes like, it tastes like fishies. Um, you yeah, know, it does have that, that fishy taste. Um, better, though, than, than half the fish that I've tried. And again, I'm not a real fish eater, so I'm not a fish connoisseur. I can't say, this, this tastes like the finest Atlantic cod I've ever tried, or anything like that. I can't, I can't say that. Um, if it comes to fish, I'm, a, I'm the kind of guy who just have some, some frozen fish sticks every now and then, so this is what I have to base it off of, so of course it's going to taste better than most fish, you know, I've had in my fish eating career. Very greasy though. I'm gonna dump a little bit of this uh, tar tartar sauce on it, right here, and I'm uh, just gonna take a bite now with the tartar sauce on it. Right, it's doing it. Hmm. Yeah, the tartar sauce is uh, is all right with the fish. I imagine by itself it wouldn't be too too good, really. Um, not a real sauce type of person, except for ketchup, and barbecue, and hot sauce, really. But your tartar sauce is uh, it's okay. Um, the tartar sauce, you know, gives the fish a more tanginess and an added flavor rather than just a fishy taste. Um, it gives it more of a tanginess. And really, that does help amplify this flavor of the fish. So, you know, really is made for the fish. Um, anything else, though, not not really at all. Um, that's just my 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 assumption there. Um, off the record, the tartar sauce kind of remind reminded me of that stupid secret sauce that's on a Big Mac. Kind of reminded me of that, but that's just me. I'm not I'm not saying that as part of the formal review that's just me but who knows it's just what I kind of tasted it's kind of what it reminded me of but you know that's off the record don't go by that that's just what I'm saying but uh it does give it a little bit of a tanginess and finally I'm gonna try their hush puppies um as I said this review is just a sampler if you don't know Anything about Long Long Dong Silvers, um, this is just what you could check out, and it'll talk about a little bit of everything, you know, kind of.
Hush puppies are good. Hush puppies are quite good. Um, not disappointed with them. What it is pretty much is kind of like cornbread almost. Um, with some types of seasoning in there. Then battered and fried. And uh, it's, it's their iconic side really. They're famous for their hush puppies. And they are good. The one thing I have to say is that it does have a flavor all to its own. Um, you do get a little bit of that cornbread taste in there, but not really, not bad at all. Um, you can taste all the different seasonings in there. Um, a little salty again, and you just have to, I'd recommend having the hush puppies with ketchup. Um, just because at times when you bite in, you know, in, in the midst of it, it can be a little bit of, a little bit dry and, and battery, I imagine you can say. Um, so perhaps some ketchup or alternative would work. Of course, you have these little things here, which are awesome. I remember these. But. They're just there. So, overall, the meal itself actually didn't disappoint. Um, again, the purpose of this review pretty much is just... It's just really, if you don't know what to get at Long John Silver's, you don't know the menu. Um, what we did is we wanted to cover everything. We covered the fish, the chicken, the hush puppies, the fries... Um, really the basics of the menu here for you. Um, so if you're really not sure what to get at this establishment, we're able to help you out here and, and enlighten you onto the basics of Long John Silvers. So this is your lesson in Long John Silvers 101, students. Um, this entire meal, actually, it was just the fish and chicken combo for six thirty nine, which isn't bad at all. Um, six thirty nine for it. You literally get pretty much the whole menu in a small little box here. And uh, I can't complain. Great, great value meal. Great combo. You're getting a lot. Tastes good. Um, great price and great flavor. So, all in all, um, I'm 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 pleasantly surprised at this. I really am. Long John Silver's has not disappointed for the second time I've ever tried it. Well, my friends, out of ten, what are we going to be reviewing or giving? Long John Silver's deliciousness in a box, as it claims, which really is, it's deliciousness and uh, artery-clogging goodness in a box, too. Um, out of 10, what are we going to give it? I'm going to give this, hmm, I mean, it was just all these components, and everything in it wasn't bad. It all, all went, yeah, I may need some sauce here and there, but good value. Everything in there is good. I enjoyed it. I'm going to be giving this an 8.7 out of 10. Um, it just, I can't really find too much bad stuff about it to say at all. Um, I didn't give it higher, of course, because it's not, you know, the best in the field, but it's not, not bad. Um, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Well, my friends, thank you for watching. This is Running and Empty Food Review. I'm your host, Report of the Week. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.